Hello everyone, it's um, afternoon here in British Columbia, Canada and this time I, I would like to share with you what's going on now in my place after the strong earthquake that struck in my hometown Kidapawan City and as well as my my province North Cotabato and as usual every time we have the calamities in our neighboring neighboring provinces or even in some part of the Philippines uh, myself always uh, try to to extend some help not really big big help but at least we shared our blessings to someone that truly affected with this kind of calamities or inner phenomena so this time i am sharing with you that my my brothers and sister my siblings shared some amount of money to buy 50 sacks of rice for the victims of this recent earthquake and with the help of my younger our youngest brother which is the chief of police of Kidapan city he he will be the one to facilitate the distribution of our our donations because we are not there right now in in Kidapawan. so like me i'm here in canada and my, my siblings they're also in abroad so we could not do anything instead of giving them some financial aid for this donation so if you can see my my staff that works with me they're the one who do the repacking i think this started in the morning and then it's already late in the afternoon so we giving them instruction as well that they should uh, repack it uh, nicely and evenly so if you notice there are only three of them left doing the repacking because uh, the three boys that helped them earlier and they were not there anymore because they have to go somewhere else to fetch water because this time we don't have water yet in in our house no uh, water to use to for cooking or washing or anything else i think they have only drinking water so every day after the earthquake they have to go somewhere else to fetch water it's it's a bit tough but you know they have to deal with it anyway i instructed my younger brother to bring this uh, donation to any places that still needs help where only few helps that arrives you know i i saw a lot on facebook that they are still begging for help they say that uh, there was no help coming in their place um anyway i my, my my youngest brother he will take care of that so so far uh, i've heard uh, from the report of my my staff that they're done the repacking for i think they finished like almost 300 bags not bad yes we can feed 300 bags and i would like to extend my thank you also to my fellow uh, my, my colleague at you know pbf the bread that they share the blessings so I'm, I'm very proud of them that you know I, I know it's very hard to solicit money you know but they just easily share the blessings without any question so thank you so thank you again especially to we are Cesar Rendon Alvin Giovanni, Don Roland, to my friend Merlita, to Rendell, Hamid, to a very nice guy Amarjit, to Farouk, Jamal, Bob, or Bobby, Alfredo, 
Monet, Anthony, Please, Rodrigo, Mark, Jason. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I thank you so much to make these things happen. And now I think my my staff are they are now trying to transfer this um, repack bags to another place of my house. So I know it's very tough, you know, things like this is very hard to to beg for help, you know. But these are you know, we have these people that sometimes you don't know that, you know, they can give more. And you know, it's just a matter of trying your luck, you know. So I remember a long time ago that was like 2014 when another typhoon hits one of the province of Mindanao. It was a little bit far from my place but I was not hesitant to do the fundraising for the victims of the typhoon. So they were totally devastated with that very strong typhoon. So we went there with my members, my members, uh, members in the gym. So we managed to, we managed to accumulate thirty sacks of rice. So begging help, you know. Sometimes it's a bit frustrating, you know, but we are just only begging for help. If they don't. They don't want to help it's okay that's their own prerogative but we're still thankful that you know in spite of the difficulties of some people they are still extending their help and then the same thing with yolanda you know we also managed to do the fundraising and you know but the time because it's in the another island of the philippines so we just sent uh, cash especially to my my you know relatives out there that they really need help so this time i don't even imagining you know i cannot imagine that it's happening right there in my hometown so that's why i told myself you know the other provinces you know i was there to extend my help so this time it's my hometown so that's why you cannot tell what's will happen in the future so we cannot say that it's none of my business that's not my place but it could happen to us it could happen to our place and to any members of our family i remember a long time ago that was 2009 when the Haiti country or they said it Haiti or I don't know what's the proper pronunciation of that uh, country yeah when they were struck with that very strong earthquake you know, I was not hesitant to extend my little help yes I don't know them but again people need our help this little little things if we combine it, it it will become bigger okay that's it folks and i'm going to sign off now before i have to go let me say this prayer for everyone father thank you for your power which is at work in me thank you for your equipping me and calling me according to your good purpose give me your strength and peace today and i keep my mind stayed on you in jesus name amen